Hello, fellow YouTubers, Skadooland73 coming back at ya. I know you've seen this sled. This is a 71 Olympic 300 in a couple videos, so I guess it's time for an update video. And, uh, well, I'll do an update on the 292 TNT with the 335 here soon, because it's got a bunch of changes. But, anywho, so you've seen the video, it's running pretty good. It's got, since when I got it in the spring, it's got a new seat, new backrest. Uh, I got the cowling to fit. The seat was a little too big, so the cowling's not fitting too right, so I had to put this little knob here to uh, hold it. I got the brakes all fixed up, throttle, fuel lines, carburetor kit, uh, spark plug, the NG key, uh, NJK cap, uh, and then a fuel filter, and then all new lines of the tank. I still haven't got the hood, but I still need to uh, tighten up all the brackets and put a uh, rope or uh, cable to hold it so it doesn't go back all the way but it stays stays pretty good right there and I got the wiring all hooked up for the light so it works and I got some new parts I got to get a belt guard still for it in the front and rear bumper but I got a new belt for it some oil seals and some bearings I'm waiting on the track drivers I'll put new ones on it so it's it's okay, like there's a bunch of cracks in the frame, and there's a crack down there, and some cracks are here, so I don't know. Must have hit the tree pretty hard or been rolled over. So, oh, and that's pretty good. The light is still having some trouble staying up, so I'm going to have to figure a way to get it, because the motor it vibrates a lot and always wants to come shut back down. But now I'm having with issues with this, too, is the crank bearings are starting to go in this, too. So, oh, it's got a new starter cup and a rebuilt recoil so we get those starter cups from royal it's kind of hard to see but they're starting to go so it's starting to get a bit louder and noisier and shaky so i got a gasket kit coming because well i'll rebuild this one before the 335 because i've been already out driving this and i so i got the brakes all adjusted and clean i see we have some oil leaking down there out of everything but uh, I don't know if I'll be able to hear this. It's fine at different, like it's fine at some ro like at uh, rotations, but others, if it stops somewhere, it gets pretty bad. So I guess I'll have to take it apart. It's not as bad as the other one. Like I still drive it around and everything. So anywho, still needs a good cleanup under the hood. But I painted underneath the seat, but I'm just going to leave it like this greased everything but I guess we'll get the hood closed back down and we'll take off this cowling I still have to get a choke lever that extends like all the other ones I just got a short little one I think it came off 250 or something so we'll give her a start up So it's a little louder than most. I wonder if you can feel it now. Yeah, you can start to, but it starts right back up every time. So it runs really good. It just, I think the crank bearings are starting to go in this, so we'll have to take it all apart. The good thing about this is snow's not supposed to come for a little bit still, so we can get, I can get all these old sleds all ready for the winter time. But anywho, so this is just a quick update on the 71300 Olympic. And make sure you guys subscribe, like, and have a good rest of the day.